Silva. Coffee, guys? I'd love a cappuccino. Okay, we're gonna do a small tour. Okay, Ken, give us a tour. Oh. <laughs> Kijk, alles ontstaat natuurlijk uit een idee, uit een gevoel. En de eerste keer dat ik bij Urban kwam samen met Kenneth als klant, omdat ik een aantal Urban auto's wilde laten bouwen, had ik al direct het idee dat er iets, ik voelde daar iets. En uh, als ik nu kijk waar we nu staan, ja, dan ben ik super trots op ons team, uh, op dat wat we daarvoor hebben moeten doen. Het is hard werken, maar het begint nu pas. So one of our hobbies is sneakers. Company hobby. Yeah. Oh, company hobby, yeah. So, so they actually sneakers. come here for their cars yeah. and then and not buy sneakers. sneakers. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, have some, we have some guys never had sneakers before and now they have a collection. 9,000 euros. This is cool. So what other companies do you run out of here? We've got the absolute sneakers. Sneakers and we have Studio Unknown which is our, yeah we produce our content ourselves. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. We yeah. promote our products, our services. This is only for your brands or do they do work they for other companies as well? They also have their own customers at the moment. Ah yeah. right okay yeah. so they're doing work for third parties yeah. as well. Yeah. The concept we use yeah. uh, to promote our name, to build our name. Ah. <laughs> he got me yesterday! <laughs> oh man, that got me as well! <laughs> so this is the workshop area. As you can see, we can use some more square meters here as well. Yeah. And we have uh, uh, another building across the street for the more long-term projects. Uh, for example, with Novitec we build quite a few yeah. Enlargos. Enlargos. And Largos. Those are like projects well, like that take two or three, three, two or three months. weeks. Oh, months? Yeah, yeah, yeah because really? we respray the complete cars. We have to cut out the rear panels. Are they limited, are they? Yeah, 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 normally a hundred, isn't it? Fifteen. Fifty. Yeah, fifteen, 15 coops, fifteen spiders. Yeah, so we've, we thought the brand wasn't long established enough to, to bring out a special edition. Only being ten years old, you see the likes of Brabus and Novatech doing one of one rockets and, and Largos, but they're like 25, 30 years old, you know? We was concerned that we wouldn't be able to sell the quantity that we said was special. But we did name it the RS to start off with. And we did all of the branding, we got all of the badges ready, and then we got legal letters from Ford, from oh, Audi, for from Porsche. And at that point we had to change it. And we went through lots of different, you know, things to change it to, and we ended up with XRS. And we sent letters back to all of those companies and they said that they was happy with the fact that we was changing it. And that's where XRS started. Yeah, you've got to be respectful to, to Novatech to have an aftermarket brand and have something that's in demand that sells out to that level is, is amazing. I mean, we've had our first experience with XRS, yeah. which, which should do the same, yeah. but not to that real, real, real bespoke level where you're changing the entire car. That's brave and they've you know, it's paid off for them. But it all is heritage, of course. Yeah. Novitec is existing for 30 years already or something. Years, yeah. So uh, yeah, imagine in 20 years from <laughs> now. Uh, 20 years from now, I'll be like, <laughs> Als je kijkt naar waar wij vandaan komen, maar ook daar waar Urban vandaan komt, gaan wij meer de kant op waar Urban was toen ik ze leerde kennen. En Urban gaat meer de kant op waarbij Absolute Motors natuurlijk uh, heel groot geworden is en uh, heel bekend geworden is. Het personaliseren van auto's. Dus. En wij groeien steeds meer naar de business waar Urban heel groot in geworden is. Gewoon volume uh, auto's bouwen, Urban's op de weg krijgen. We willen graag het merk samen groot maken. Dus ons product dat, is, dat kan verkocht worden door elke andere Absolute Motors-achtige bedrijf. Pakketten, wielen, alles wat er van Urban is, kunnen ze kopen bij GP. Dat is mooi, want dan kunnen we zoveel mogelijk mensen blij maken. Well, it's definitely, it's definitely one of ours. And it, it must be an XRS because it's. Okay, let's Ken, let's. Uh... We recognize the silhouette. Don't we? Yeah. <laughs> That colour. Oh. It's not it's not a black defender. I know. <laughs> wow. This is Dolph's car. This was to match his Novatech Enlargo Ferrari, Largo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same colour. No, you've done a fantastic job of this. Yeah, amazing. 
the red with the carbon it's nice. and, the, and the decals, it goes perfect. We only had one problem because he wanted to match his Enlargo. So we have fitted the same carbon fiber exhaust tips on this car as on his Enlargo. I like it a lot, to be honest. That was a bit that more was, bulky and... Uh... That was one part that we looked at we looked at doing so basically you could trim out an area and then you would have a like an insert to take yeah. the exhaust yeah this becomes a true one of one doesn't yeah. it but this, well, is, this, is, like, yeah, this, this is, is really yeah. special this, this is, is the special. signature car yeah. Yeah. yeah shall we take it outside yeah and, should we uh, get this out in the light i want to see it in the light In the UK, we just do black, grey and white. And I'm thinking about changing that after seeing these two. Yeah, this is Pat's personal car and he's obviously gone for a more colour-coded look around the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'm surprised. I didn't think I would like it, but I do. You think he should have made a couple of changes though, don't you? Yeah, but that's the good thing with a car like this. You, like, it's completely individual. My personal uh, feeling would say this one needs to be grey, but yeah, he like he prefers this, and that's the good thing on a Defender because you yeah. can make it really one of one, completely perfect on, yeah. on, on the person who's driving it. And obviously, Dolph's one in the Ferrari red. Yeah, Rosso Magma. Yeah, so that's uh, like a seven-layer color. Seven layer. Seven layer. It's crazy. Wow. No, I really want to do one in Estrel blue, the like the SVR color. Yeah, yeah. And I think the same setup as this, but in Estrel blue, I think that will look fantastic. Do you think you'll start to do more individual things on on the hybrids as well, or yeah. is it just the V8 you're going to do signatures on? Yeah, it's depending a little bit. The, the demand is so high on the on the hybrid that we are like buying them in bigger numbers, yeah. building them, finish them, and then put them on the market. And this is like more extreme. So with the V8s, we definitely uh, go we'll for more, uh, more individual uh, yeah. colors. So right, obviously we've done 40 builds in the UK. We've got 25 left. Seeing these two now has inspired me to do it, something a little bit more special. You've got 25, we've got 25 left. Should we make them all signature editions? Should we do something special, people? Get in the comments and tell us which one of these do you prefer? And also, what colour should we do? How should we finish our last 25 cars off? Colours, designs, let us know what you think. Inmiddels bouwen wij hier komend jaar zo'n 90 uh, Defenders die wij ook inkopen. En uh, die leveren we niet alleen aan de eindklant, maar die leveren ook aan dealers. Uh, als je daar een Defender Urban Whitebody neerzet naast een standaard Defender, dan wordt zo'n Whitebody Urban wordt veel sneller verkocht dan de standaardversie. Bicycles. Bicycles. It's Holland. So we are at our last destination on our trip and it just so happens to be a Land Rover dealership. Brookhouse. The Land Rover dealership. The. One of your best customers. It is. Starting off with this V8. This is the old color. The old where color. Where Defender started with. That's why we took this color. Yeah. And named it the Heritage. I was in IT for 20 years. Corporate world, suit and tie. Was fed up with that. And the plan was to leave that job and just sell luxury cars. But then one day I looked at the Defender space and the difference between standard and in the UK, obviously the old Defender, there was a company called Twisted mm. who were you know, the leaders in building bespoke Defenders, the old style, but their prices were you know, 80 to 100,000 yeah. versus the standard car at 30. So I was thinking there must be some kind of middle in space. Yeah. yeah, so we built one car, we picked all of the right parts off the shelf, built this car and it, I think it sold within one or two days. And at the time, Land Rover were much more welcoming of people like us. They gave us supported terms, they gave us fleet discount. You know, we, I think we went through around 250 of the old style Defender. So the support that we got for them and the ability to freely buy was great. And there was always a worry that the new car, they would bring out all of the styling options, but they didn't. I expected them to bring out spoilers, to bring out arches, you know, and they just, they just didn't. So, so I'm very thankful. Come this way, come this way. We have to be quiet when we're talking about this. It's the most fantastic car in the middle of the showroom. It's an oak green XRS. Just take a look. This is our biggest customer, right? They build their cars themselves. If the product stands out, if yeah. it's special, people will like it and they yeah. buy it. This one is painted by us. 
Yeah. We did the well, paint we, job, we build the car. We don't do an XRS in a special color. It's these guys. No, these no, but that's really what, that's yeah, also yeah, what yeah. brought us together, right? Yeah, yeah, course, well, yeah. we were discussing where we come from, personalizing cars. Yeah. You are building, you know, the urban brand, which we learn a lot from each other because it brings it all together. Like when we did the first calipers on the G-Wagon, you yeah. said, what? Yeah. With the logos, right? You nice. said, oh yeah, yeah. that's yeah. nice, that's nice. So, We've got new logos for you now, though. Yeah, fuck, we can the change it ones. all. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it from this little surprise. Anything else? We go up to the next surprise. Come on. Wait. I know you like surprises. Yeah. Next door, there's something special. Yeah. Let's go there. I don't want to look. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. you'll be alright. I don't want to do this. You'll be alright. Right. I literally, I literally, literally don't, don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Fear. <laughs> Fear. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> idea. Hello, guys. <laughs> First time? Yeah. Me as well, yeah. so that's good. Great. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have no fear. Zoals je weet, dus uh, ik ben helemaal oké. Okay. Simon, do you need to go to the toilet, Simon? I need to go to the toilet, yeah. Yeah, it's there. I Where won't with it? you because otherwise you just run. Yeah, the toilet's over there. I need to sit down for a minute. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. Like our video, it's something special. We've yeah. done. We join up as a team and uh, already doing something great. Watch out.